Is Tidal really a great and easy way to earn money by sharing data and change the world at the same time as it claims here on its website, or is it just a complete waste of time? My name is Michael and many viewers here on my YouTube channel have asked me about Tartle and wanted to know how it really works and if it actually will be worth it. So I decided to test it myself and in this Tartle review, I will give you an inside look, show exactly how it works and show everything I found. And let me just reveal right away that it has both pros and cons, but you need to be aware of both before you sign up here so you know what you're getting into. And I will show all this in this video so you can decide based on that if this is the right option for you or not. So before going over how you potentially can earn using Tartal and how it all works and if it will be worth it, let's first start by going over who can actually join. And you can potentially join Tartal from any country, which is definitely a great thing. And you potentially can also earn from all countries. So that's the first thing you need to know. And let's now then go a little bit more over about what the idea behind Tartal is, because that can be a little bit confusing. And then I'll give you an inside look and show how to set it up for yourself. So when you look at the about page on Tidal's website, you can see that they have a mission to elevate humanity through the sharing of data. And they have a vision of a world where complete and total knowledge is shared and most pressing problems that threaten the stability and existence of human beings are solved with data in a collective and collaborative effort across all nations and peoples. That sounds very, very beautiful and it's a great mission, but what does it actually mean? This can be a little bit confusing, but what they are actually saying is that they know that many companies, many platforms, they earn by sharing data that we give them anyway way so their mission here is that they also want to give us the ability to earn by sharing the data we want to share so the idea behind that is i guess kind of nice i do not quite understand how that fits into this whole saving the world but it it sounds definitely great but to find out whether it can actually live up to all these big visions here we have to take a closer look at the inside and see what it offers so let me now log in and show you how to get started and then also share a little bit more about how much you can potentially earn. So I am now inside Tartle and you can see the top menu here. It has three options and I will go over all of them one by one. But I want to start here in the wallet because before you start doing anything, you will have an option here to create a Tartle wallet because Tartle coins is what you earn from any of the things in here. And you will not start earning those until you have created a Tartle wallet. And that's very important to understand. So I would suggest if you decide to join after watching this review here that you go here first and then you just click on a button here and you have to select a pin and then you will automatically within a few seconds get a title coin wallet here later i will go over how you potentially can use those title coin but i just wanted to start here because this is very important to understand that you need to set this up first before you start doing anything else so the next step is then to go to this discover section and here they have different categories. And the idea here is then that we have all these different topics and we can then fill out data information about them and put them up for sale data for us. And then companies that are interested in different data can supposedly bid here. So how it works is that I would find any of these categories here. And you can see right now I have two published packages. That's because I have already filled them out and it's just basically questions and then you just click to save it and publish it. So I'll just try to also show you how it works if you have not yet published them because there are a lot of different ones you can do here. So let's just take this one for example with shopping and you can see here there are a lot of packages that I have not yet actually filled out. So I could just for example choose this one here preferred stores here and click it. And what I then need to do is here to just fill this one out with the information here. You can see it's not a lot that you need to do and then you can save it down here and then it will be published for buyers to bid on. So I will just quickly fill it out here and then show you how to save it and move all forward from there and potentially earn from this package here as they call it. So I have now just 
filled it out. It really does not take long. And then here you have different options. You can see here there's something called auto sell settings. And that's because when you have these data packages, when you put them up for sale, then there are buyers that can bid on this data here. And once they bid, the bid will only be valid for 24 hours. So if you do not check in all the time, then maybe you will end up not actually being able to get paid for. So therefore you can choose this here that automatically you will just sell it. And I'm assuming if you decide to use this, that you actually would like to earn by selling these data packages. So then I would recommend that you just use this option here. And you can also choose here donation settings. You can see that you just want to actually keep the earnings here or you can donate them to different options here, charities. And then you just click here to publish it and then you just click it here and then I will click to save it. And you can see now it is here in the published package and you can go through all these different categories here and then publish them and then potentially someone will bid for it and you can then earn by doing that. Where you will see the bids is here in the bid section here. So you can just go here and see exactly which bids I currently have and you can see I actually do not have any bids yet. I have tested this for quite a while now. I have filled out several of the data packages and I have actually not yet received a bid. So that's just something to consider also that there is no guarantee that people will actually buy it just because you fill out these data packages. But that's something we'll talk a little bit more about later when we go over the full earning potential. There's one more thing in this discover section here about these categories that you need to consider because this is something they really try to get you to do and that's to use these integrations here. And this is something that I was a little bit surprised by when I found and something that is very important that you really consider carefully before you just use these integrations, even though they promise quite good earnings for it. So you can see these integrations is where you can integrate with different accounts, different social media, for example, and by then pulling the data in here from, for example, Twitter, then you can earn because people will then bid on this data here. But this is where I saw something that really actually worried me, especially here when I tried to integrate Twitter. So I'll just try to click that so you can see what I'm talking about. Because here to actually integrate Twitter, I need to authorized title app to access my account. But look here what it actually says. It's not just to see my information because I would expect that, but it can actually also follow and unfollow accounts for me. It can uh, update my profile and account setting. It can post and delete tweets for me and engage with tweets posted by all others, meaning liking, unliking, or replying to tweets or even retweeting for me. And it can create, manage, and delete lists and collections. And it can even mute, block, and report accounts on my behalf. I don't know about you. I do not want to give this kind of power to anyone else but myself. And especially not an app or a company like this. I can understand that they need to be able to see my information. That's kind of the point. But that they need access to actually update my account, to follow, to post on my behalf. I'm not saying they're going to do this, abuse that or anything. It might just be how it's set up. But the fact is just that currently as of recording this video here, you will authorize them to have access to this. And that's something you definitely need to consider. Personally, I'm saying no thanks to this. I'm not actually going to allow them to do that, of course. So I'll just cancel that. And I wanted to show this here just to show you that you really need to be aware what you're saying yes to when they try to get you to use these integrations because they have different messages that really try to push to do this to earn more. But just really be careful what you give them access to, in my opinion. So let's now talk a little bit more about the earning potential and what you can use your earnings for. But before we go over that, I would appreciate if you could just take one second to like this video here because it can help it to be seen by more people. So as I already shown earlier on this bit page here, you will see if someone have actually bought your data or the data that you have filled out here. And as you can see, I have not yet actually received any bits, even though I've used it for quite a while and filled out quite a lot of these data packages. So that's just something to be aware of. There's no guarantee, but they also say that 
as long as you've set up your Turtle wallet just by filling out different things, you can potentially earn some Turtle coins and you can then see them in your wallet. And you can see in my wallet, I have 10 Turtle coins here and I received these by filling out some of the profile information in here. You can also integrate PayPal here and you can earn PayPal cash by potentially inviting other people here. But the main things you will earn here is actually Turtle coin and they also say the more title coin you have, the bigger a chance you have of actually having your data sold. So it's all a little bit confusing. And what is title coin even? That's another thing that is a little bit confusing. And they actually do not have a very good uh, frequently asked questions page here. But if you hold over here, you can see the title coin is a private blockchain. So it's actually kind of its own cryptocurrency is a reward system within the Turtle marketplace. And then it allows you to earn priority for receiving bits on the marketplace. So by having these Turtle coins, you can then get a priority of receiving bids. But that's kind of what you can use it for here, or you can use it on their own marketplace. But there's just not really any way to use it yet. And that's why it's a little bit confusing. You can transfer it here, but that's just to transfer it to other users. I also want to say that Tidal is still a quite new platform as of recording this video here. So there might be many more options to use Tidal coin in the future. I cannot say for sure that there will not be. I really hope so, because if they do not introduce more options, I'm definitely not impressed. But anyways, the idea is that you can earn title coins and then potentially you can increase your chances of getting bits where people will actually pay for your data. However, my big concern about this is why companies would buy data like this because I have looked at these questions I need to fill out and that what I showed you before it was three short questions about my favorite shop and like I don't quite understand why a company would go here and choose deliberately to like buy that data packets. I know that's how market research works that you get different information about it, but that's where usually paid service come in, where they ask you specific questions to specific people. Here it just seems kind of like the other way around where I need to fill out a lot of things and then maybe hope that eventually someone will bid on that information. It's a little bit like filling out a paid survey not knowing if I get paid for it and then just putting it out then say, oh, I filled out a paid survey. Is anybody willing to pay for it? So I'm not saying it's not going to work. You can maybe potentially work as it grows or let's see if it actually grows. Right now, I'm just not really convinced by the concept and how many companies will actually use this. And if people are not willing to pay for this data that you filled out, then you will not earn. And that's definitely something to consider. So overall, I think the idea behind Tidal is interesting, but I'm just not convinced, definitely not as the platform is right now. It is still fairly new. I have to give them that. Who knows, maybe they will actually really develop it and get a lot of partners and get a lot of companies that are interested here and give us a lot of earning opportunities like that. I cannot say for sure. We will just have to wait and see and time will tell. Personally, I'm not really planning to use it anymore. I'm not convinced by it. I do not think it shows enough potential, but I might be proven wrong and we will just see as it moves forward. If you have any experiences with it yourself, if you have experienced actually getting bids here, then please share your information about that and your experiences about it below here. I would love to hear that so I can also see what other people's experiences with this is because it is still fairly new. But as it is right now, it's just not a very effective way to earn and only time will tell if it actually will become worth it. But now at least you know where it is now and then you can decide for yourself if you want to try to get in now or if you wait and see, that's completely up to you. Or if you decide that it's just not for you, that's of course also fine. Then I will also leave a link below here for methods that I know where you can effectively earn right now with completely free methods. So if you're interested in that instead, you can check that out. But no matter what, I hope this video helped you. And if it did, make sure to hit the like button and also don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel and hit the notification bell so you won't miss out next time it's a video with tips and tricks about how to get the most out of paid service sites, get paid to sites and other free ways to earn some extra cash on the site online.